Hey guys, happy weekend. I hope you have a lovely weekend, okay? I pulled some Lenormans too. I just wanna say this, I'm gonna hit this from a few different fronts here, career, uh, home life, relationships, potential relationships, um, potential more than one relationships. I think there's a lot going on here, but my suggestion to you is that, you know, nothing needs to be definitely decided right now. Okay, it looks like you're in a place where if you've got, you know, a few balls in the air here. There's if you feel like you're pinned up against something and you've got to make a decision, I'd back away. I think there's a lack of um either you feel like you're you're not thinking things through properly. Okay? So that usually happens when one we're just not thinking things through properly. We don't have um again a proper uh, planning process, or we feel like we're being pressured, or we feel like we're making a rash decision. This is not a time to to do that. I assure you, please take my advice here, especially if this is with a relationship. Okay, let it's a it's a time and a place. It, it's time. It's gonna pass. But if you blow through the village here, you may end up. Uh, it's just just cut yourself some slack here and just actually see that when things are out of your hands, out of your control, that, you know, the world isn't going to end when you've got to take a second to step back. Right. Um, and that's what I'm really going to suggest you do here for many reasons. Right. But one, mainly to see what happens when you actually don't make a decision from how you normally do. How do you normally get to, to decisions? Try to take a sidebar this weekend and think about doing something different. Right. If you're if it's all emotion based, you're not thinking about it for sure. And the intention isn't there. The long term intention. Right. It's the immediate something has got, you know, their hands around my neck here and I feel like my eyes are going to pop right out of my head. Let it pass. You know what I mean? Take a step back and actually feel what it is to make a decision from a place where, you know what, I don't need to be stressed about this. The world is not going to come to an end today. And like I say, if someone's pressuring you, you may want to think about that also. Okay, now you come in with the six of coins, right? We've got the two of swords, the six of swords, and the king of cups, okay? We all know how that story goes, right? He feels like that's... um Anthony and Cleopatra, right? We all know how that goes. He feel like he 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 was his con, he was emotionally out of control. You know what I mean? He wasn't thinking. He was just rash in his decisions, and we all know that that didn't end well, right? Um, so let your emotions calm down here. Two sixes also speak of guys. These are things for a time. They're little. They're little satisfactions. So in the realm of it all, you're stressing out most likely over something that is going to play itself out. It's going to move from this place, whatever it is. Let it let it get there in a in a proper fashion where you're not wasting time or spinning your wheels or you're really giving some contemplated thought to what it is that you're doing and how you're getting to that decision, right? Are my emotions driving me in this direction or am I thinking this through? And, you know, thinking long term practical about it. Now, if this is a relationship, let me hit that angle first. I pulled three Lenormans, too. You've got the mountain, the, the crossroads, and you've got um, the book. OK, I do think that if this is a relationship, I think that there's some things going on here that aren't appeasing to you. Right. I think for some of you, you may have relationships that are dead in the water that aren't moving forward. Um, I think you may be on different pages here. Um, two sixes speak of obsessions. They really speak of, uh, and you've got the six here. So there's basically like really three sixes. That's obsessions, right? So again, we all know he was absolutely obsessed with Cleopatra, right? To the point where he lost, I mean, Rome fell. He, you know, he dies in the end. And and love can make us stupid, in all honesty. It can make common sense go right out the window, right? That's why I'm saying there's an intensity here that doesn't need to be right? This isn't, it doesn't need to be so dramatic. Just take a step back for a minute. You know, your empire is not going to fall here. All right. Now, for some of you, um, again, I think that there's an emotional disconnect with someone. I think for some of you, 
you're deciding whether you want to be in this or out of this. For others of you, you might have secret admirers. For others of you, you might have feelings for other people. There's a lot going on here. You see what I mean? There's, there's way too many things here to not be able to find a quiet spot and really think about all of this. And when I say think about it, feel with your head. You know what I mean? And vice versa. You want to think it, feel it, and what is my intention here? Why do I want this? And really think about those things. You know what I mean? Try to do something different because this, I think, also is a pattern. I think there's a pattern in here that it's jumping, 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 jumping. You shouldn't be jumping. You should be making decisions from a place of calm, right? Because those are the decisions that are well thought out and they last. Otherwise, if we're jumping, 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 we're going to continue to be jumping, jumping, jumping. And this isn't the energy that you want to do that. Okay, so there you go. Um, yeah, I think the the relationship aspects have some hurdles here. I'm not going to lie. But I think if you take this approach in a different way, I think that you'll be proud of yourself. And I say that first and foremost because that's what it should be. No matter what you're in, you're the main you know, you're the main event here. And the six of coins is that card where you usually see, um, you know, it's like the charity charity card and all of that, which it is. But what it's saying, too, is that you've got to have within yourself your spirit, your soul, and your body need to be in alignment. You know what I mean? First and foremost, because you are the catalyst you're bringing to anything. So you need to be balanced before you can pull in something else. You know what I mean? If you're pulling in a relationship that's not balanced and you're having to jump through hoops consistently, you want to look at yourself and, and just take a, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot more involved here than that. Okay, so, so there you go on that. For others of you, there is great potential here for creative ideas, launching of things uh, like that. They also speak of um, things being really good right now. You've got, you're, you're good financially, you're good creatively. Um, for some of you too, you might be looking at other options. You know what I mean? You might be thinking about actual moves, um, money, gain. There's a lot in here. On the career front, this is amazing. This is a great throw for that, for financial gain. Also amazing. Um, buying property, selling property, moving, um, I think you've got more than one option. For some of you, I know that you're changing careers. I think, again, those doors open for you, but I think that they open for you like multiple times, like different areas open at the same time. So again, think it through. Um, let's see here. For some of you, I really think you're really in a great spot right now, a gracious spot where you're just looking at your life and you're like, wow, I'm really in a really great spot right now. Enjoy that. That's what I'm saying. These are points in time. Stop and enjoy these moments, really, because think about it. What's the what are you rushing for? Really? Where the hell are you going? You know, some days you just have to ask yourself, what am I doing? You know, and that's what this is about. I think it's a great throw on all fronts. I think that we as individuals. If you take the opportunity, you can you can seriously grow from this. You know, don't let your thought processes be lazy. Don't think about them. Actually use your noggin, use your emotions, use your close your eyes on where is this going to be? You know what I mean? Don't think about fantasizing. You know what I mean? Think about where where really do you you know, what is this doing and where is it going and, and where are you in this equation? You know what I mean? And why am I doing this? You know, those kind of answers. When we don't ask the right questions, we're sure as hell not getting the right answers, right? The questions are, are way more important than the answers. So that's what I'm going to say. I think it's a phenomenal reading. Take advantage of it. Um, do something different for yourself so you get a different outcome, okay? If you need a private reading, please reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to do anything for you, okay? Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.